Okay. Good evening, YouTube. Um, eating some beef stew and uh, crackers. Mixed in with crackers. I like that. It's quick. It just tastes good. So. Uh, I think basically I just want to say hello. And let everybody know that I'm doing pretty good. I'm blessed. I can't really complain about a lot of things or anything, matter of fact. But I got thinking, uh, to be honest, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm not in a super good mood. I'm in a very peaceful mood, though, if this makes any sense to anybody. Uh, I got thinking about the narcissist. Because I was listening to a video the other day or last night. A wonderful female. I can't even think of her name. I was searching for her name, or not her name, but her, the name of her YouTube channel. Stumbled upon her or uh, on autoplay. From time to time, it normally goes away from, say, Dave or Narcology Unscripted, and it'll go right into someone else that's talking about narcissists. And they become a new person to me because I've never seen them. So, uh, anyway, she, she, she has a wonderful take on it. She was talking about... Uh, if you're contemplating revenge or wanting to uh, deliver the karma to the narcissist prematurely because it hasn't happened to him or you don't see that it's happened and you're just tired of waiting. She essentially said <clears throat> their illness is their karma. And uh, I've heard this across the board. It's amazing how when we see this behavior or this portrayal of they're doing good, they're at peace, they're all of these things that empaths are on a regular basis. We have ups and downs, this and that, but nobody is on top of the world all the time. And it's a, it's, it's a beautiful thing to be uh, at a low sometime because what happens, that counterbalances your humanity uh, because you can, in those low times, you can empathize with other people that are not in those uh, cloud nine uh, places in their life. They're not super excited just waking up uh, having breath in their lungs. They may have just uh, got some bad news. They may have just lost a family member or even something even smaller than that. They may just have not gotten that piece of mail or that Amazon package that they were expecting. And to some people, some things uh, don't only put them in a bad mood, but it, they stay there and they can't just like readily come out of it like uh, say myself and a lot of other people depends on what situation though some people may say well Calma you need to get out of that and go and move forward and it may be an extreme situation for me that I'm going through as opposed to something that's very trivial and uh, uh, another person may get deeply distraught over uh, uh, something trivial and you may say well why don't you move out of that place it's nothing not a big deal you cannot automatically assume that they can do that so, she was suggesting, why don't we put ourselves in the narcissist's shoes? Um, narcissist's, yeah. how many S's in that? <clears throat> and she was saying, imagine not feeling happy, not knowing who you are, not liking yourself, hating who you are, uh, just not really knowing where you fit in, and always chasing people around to give you validation. Um, that's got to be tiring, got to be laboring, you know, and uh, they're exhausted at the end of the day, believe me, you, but they get up and do it all over again, so she shared that, and that was really a great video, because I think more than anything, not only do we need to know more about the narcissist, we actually have to pause uh, occasionally just to put ourselves in their shoes, if it's even possible um, mentally to do that. Uh, and for a lot of us, we don't even dare want to. We don't want to. We're so disgusted. We're so agitated. We're so everything. We don't We don't want to do that. So um, it's free will, though. But it takes a willingness to do that. And I think, uh, like Dave on Narcology Impasse says about forgiveness, forgiving the narcissist, it doesn't give them, give them a pass or, or letting them know that everything is bygones or bygones. What forgiveness to the narcissist does, it frees you. It doesn't let them off the hook. It lets you off the hook of the of depriving you of your life and the fullness of your life. 
So I thought that was a good uh, video and she has a very, very calm, kind spirit. Um, and those are always the, the, the ones that really, uh, they can get my attention. Uh, Quinn Holiday, just very mellow, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. And, and we have people on here like Tia. <laughs> She she's a firecracker and, and uh empath art rising. So we have personality. We don't have to mimic other people's personality on here. You don't have to change who you are to fit someone else's agenda uh or to mimic any other um uh, people on the channel. Just you you have to be the best you, be the person that you are, the personality you bring, I'm sure somebody's gonna uh, benefit from it. And uh this is just a, a kind, encouraging uh word to uh anybody who's listening to this that uh just uh you know uh about mood you know i'm not in a down i'm not in a up i'm actually I, my heart's a little bit heavy i guess because uh even before uh you know discovering this i've always been the type of person i i sort of like i feel saddened sometimes when i look around and i imagine and i know and start realizing how bad uh society has gone and people are like oh you know we can't focus on the bad a person who doesn't really really often focus on how bad of our, our world is especially if you're a believer that means that means you don't even have a lot of uh desire to know how you can be a blessing to the world you have to keep your tentacles up and be attuned to the hurt hostility, hatred, and uh, different things in the world. And I think that makes you a, a real, healthy, whole human being. So I guess that's what I wanted to say. Uh, the lows are not to be really concerned about but if, if you don't really feel like it's directly contributed by the narcissist abuse uh, if you feel low sometimes, it's fine. Focus in on what it is that's m making you feel this way. And you may find out that it may just be one of those days. And uh, you're going to get by. Um, just don't bury your head in the sand. And uh, I don't know who this lady is. But if I get wind of her, the name again... I'll come back on video and I'll share it with you guys. In the meantime, bless.